Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we are going to take a first look on the smart console. I believe that we will do a few videos about this because it can be somewhat in depth. So we will start with the basic versions more or less in demo mode that everyone else is showing. But I will show real production uh, after this video in the next one where we talk about MDS. But this is just so you can see the, the first glance of a smart console. Sadly, Checkpoint doesn't have backwards compatibility on their smart consoles. So you see here below, I have a lot of different consoles for Checkpoint. This is actually from provider one. This is the dashboards and this is the new smart console. And I have R8010, 20, 30 and 40. If you have management servers running on all these versions, you need to have all the consoles. Let's start with R8040. So R8040 and the consoles before, you can start in something called demo mode. And if you start it in demo mode, you can either uh, do a new demo or you can join an existing one. Meaning if you want to have like a course with some people, you can join the same um, management service, so to say. But uh, let's start a new one. This is something Checkpoints more or less spins up in a, in a public cloud. Well, this number will not be available for much longer, but if you see this video uh, very soon, um, the video will not be posted <laughs> even, but uh, well, that's a way for you and your colleagues to run on the same server more or less. We are starting the smart console and the smart console is something that you have on your own laptop or your computer or on a jump station. Uh, currently it's only supporting Windows. There is a public cloud uh, management as a service and that is controllable via HTTPS, meaning that you can run um, a Linux on your PC and uh, still use Checkpoint. Um, in my case, we install all the, the smart consoles on jump gates and we go through jump gates when we connect to anything. So the first time when you start up the, new, the smart console, you will see what's new in the different versions. So for R8040, that is the latest and greatest, they have added some new functionalities within IPsec VPN. And we have been asking Checkpoint for this for a long, long time, many years but it's more or less that you can have an encryption domain per community instead of per gateway. And if you have been working with Checkpoint for a while, you will know how struggling and uh, annoying the old way was to do it before. More or less you needed to change a CLI file called user death if you want to have any control of your IPsec VPN encryption domains, meaning that the networks that you're actually sending to your to your peer. But in the new R8040, you can set it in the GUI. So that's a huge improvement, um, to say the least. There's also something called smart task, meaning that you can automate some more things. When it comes to HTTP inspection layers, well, before this version, uh, Checkpoint opened up, like if you if you pressed on HTTP inspection, they opened up the old GUI because you couldn't do everything there. And uh, they also add the possibility to use dynamic objects and so on in the HTTP inspection layer. So that's also a big improvement. I'm not aware of so many people that actually doing HTTPS inspection on a more higher level, so to say. And R8040 is, um, is built around IoT security as well. Uh, I haven't trusted this myself, but they are putting more and more capabilities within the management server. If you didn't know this already, but the brain of, um, of Checkpoint is the management server. Here you can add a lot of capabilities without touching the gateways or the firewalls, so to say. So when it comes to like, integration with the Active Directory or uh, public cloud or even pub, uh, private cloud if you want to add like a functions to to gather objects from Azure or AVS or, or similar or Cisco ACI then this capability is built from the management server itself it's not the the gateway or the firewall that connects to to AVS and so on directly 
everything needs to be configured in the management server and then you push it out to all your gateways or a subset of your gateways so there is a lot of functions that can be added by just updating the the management server to really take advantage of everything you need to upgrade your your gateways as well but you get some functionalities by only upgrading your management server of course there is some uh, some guides where you can uh, can check and um, as of uh, now in june uh, r8040 is the recommended version and it has came out about four or five hfas or hot fixes so i'm guessing it's quite stable as they recommend it um, i have only installed one server on r8040 but uh, more to come after the summer let's begin that was a long introduction um, this is how you would see your management server if you're running a more or less a standalone uh, management server not an mds so to say a smart center or whatever it's called so here you have all your gateways and servers meaning this is all your firewalls and this is the name this is some status of it ip addresses the version it's currently running and here is the blades meaning the functions that the firewall itself is running on them so when it's come to checkpoint you activate the blades or the functions per firewall and this can be either a virtual one or an appliance or um, an open server it's just a function that you add here so for example if you want url filtering well then you click in url filtering and press ok and you have the function url filtering of course or maybe it's not obvious but um, you need to have a license for the function some of the 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 functions or the blades they are perpetual meaning that you 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 get them forever when you buy them and some are subscription based meaning that you need to to pay an annual fee uh, to to have these functions so for example the the firewall blade for example that's a perpetual one but the ips that's a subscription based license so here you can have an overview of all your gateways all the versions and all the functions that you're actually running on these gateways here you can see the hardware and open server is if you run for example like an hp server and then you install the checkpoint software on the physical box you can see some uh, cpu usage i wouldn't say this is 100 percent accurate but you see some um, indications if something is wrong or or similar here you see the number of recommended updates in full production actually you see like recommended jumbo hotfix here as well so if you have not upgraded your 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 gateway to the latest recommended jumbo you would see the recommended jumbo version here and uh, that's a neat feature it's a small subtle way to to add some extra functionalities when it comes to to the gateway side in r80 um, i'm not sure what version it was they added the functionalities to run scripts and this can be quite nice i will show you this in a, in a production environment but you can run a script that more or less sends um i don't know if you can run it here no you cannot run it in demo mode so sorry but it will more or less ask the management server to log into the gateway and and run commands you don't need to give cli access to everyone you can have them running scripts to get out the functions that you you or the information that you want people to be able to see i actually use this to to get out like routing information uh, etc um, i will show you this in a, in a production environment so this is a production environment and i just wanted to show you how the scripts actually work so here we have script um, script repository 
and uh, this is some like show configuration so we do run and uh, this is what it will do and you, you can make own uh, scripts if you want to have that but uh, let's do run here and you see here the script was successful so let's close it here and um, okay I have some issues that I need to fix but <laughs> here details this is the, um, the configuration that is actually on this box so you can see show result this is the configuration itself um, I will not scroll down fully um, but you see the point this is how you can use the script so you don't need to give out CLI, CLI access to everyone you can run actions meaning that you can do reboot and so on this install hotfix this is something new um, I haven't tried it but um, we will try it in production um, not in this video but in a, in a later video uh, just to to show some more you can do health status to see your your memory your disk space how much logging it is um, some traffic uh, like packets or throughput I'm not sure how how accurate this is maybe we should uh, open a, a full production one and just see it licensing I would say licensing hasn't worked the last versions um, it has been really dodgy um, hopefully check point will will fix the the GUI part of it the licensing themselves they work but some of the information you actually need to set, see in uh, CLI and that's uh, fairly annoying so here is uh, support as well and uh, this is actually working um, I haven't seen this before um, really nice to see the support expiration and everything and um, the account ID I'm quite impressed actually this uh, looks really good and as far as I concern this is not all the licenses because you want to see what type of blades you have uh, then I guess you need to to press here uh, license and information and here you can see uh, license status loading smart view and uh, here you can see more of the licenses so that's uh, pretty cool um, which one is active and which one is available for for using so you see here I have quite a lot to use and it's expiring in uh, not not one year but uh, next year I'm actually going to cut it here so we will do multiple parts of the smart console so this first part was some introduction and uh, just how to log in and, and check some uh, within the gateways and servers. So I see you in the next one and the next one will be regarding the policies. And uh, hopefully that should give you some more insights in uh, how Checkpoint actually work. But see you in the next one. Take care.